This video is the second part of how to download iWork and iLife from the App Store using a VPP invitation. Inside your JPS email, you should have an email link from the VPP invitation system. Find the most recent one. You may have old, multiple emails, but find the newest one. When you open the email, there's going to be a link to register with the VPP. When you click that link, you're simply going to click Connect to the App Store. The App Store will open and prompt you for your password. In video one, you learned that you must have a valid ID for Apple in order to make an app download work. Download a free app first, make sure you can install that, and then you will for sure be able to get your VPP apps. I'm going to enter my Apple ID. It's going to take me to the screen. You must accept these terms and conditions. You must do it one time. You never have to do it again. You have to go all the way to the bottom and agree. Then it says, this organization can now assign apps and books to you. Done. Yay. Once you get to the App Store, simply go to the search box, type in the name of one of the apps that you're looking for. In my case, I'm looking for iPhoto. I'm going to click on Accept. I'm going to enter my Apple ID. Accept and it will start downloading into my purchases. I'm going to look for another one. I'm going to look for Pages. That's another app. And see, it is assigned to me and it says Accept. I'm going to enter my Apple ID. These apps have already been accepted. All of the apps that you need for JPS should all be accepted when you accept the first invitation. iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand, all say accept. Pages, Keynote, Numbers, all say accept. As soon as you accept one, all of the others that you're entitled to will automatically be accepted and in your account. When you go to your purchases, you should see them. Now, if you don't see them, the trick is close the App Store, then start the App Store again. And there they are. This is GarageBand, November 2014. I click Install. I can install all of them if I want to. If it asks you for an older version, that's fine. It wants to update the one for Yosemite, and we're not going to Yosemite. We have Mavericks. Just say download each time and download. You can sit there and watch it, or you can do it at home, or you can do one app each day. It will keep going. Every time you open your laptop and log in, it's going to continue to download. And that's it, and you'll have all of your apps on your laptop.